Okay, next we're going to do the munchkin hair. Now this can sometimes be difficult too, but we're going to look for and we're going to show you some different steps of different types of hair. If you have shorter or longer, what will kind of work best for you, okay? But generally the munchkins are going to put their hair in a bun. Now of course you want to make sure that you've brushed it all out. Sometimes hair works best if it's dry or if it's wet, you know. Whatever works best. Miss Carly's is very nice and brushed out. You have a hair like mine, Carly. <laughs> Alright, so you want to make sure it's brushed out. Now you want to part to the right, so this is her left side of her head. You want to part it to the right, wherever their part may be. Some is deeper than others. And part it that way. And that will kind of be the easiest to part it. Next, you're going to take two bobby pins. Now this is a secret that I've learned over the years. It's like you want to take the first portion of the hair, because most of the kids have bangs. And if they have bangs, is what you want to do with them. You grab it in your hands. Make sure you get all of it. Get through. Grab it behind, and you twist it. Just a few times. And when you push it forward, it gives you that nice, nice little poof. Take two bobby pins and crisscross it. So you just crisscross your bobby pins in. Thank you. All right. Next, you want to make sure that their hair is all the way back. Now, if your child has really frizzy hair, like I do, and like Miss Carly does too, you're probably going to want to use some hair gel to get it really nice and smooth back, so that way it doesn't fall on their face and it doesn't annoy them on stage. So you're probably going to grab some hair gel or hairspray. The hairspray works for your kid too. Whatever works best for the hair. Sometimes water and hairspray will do it. See how it's nice and smooth back here on the side compared to the front up here, which we'll get to. All right, pull it back. And you kind of want to do like a medium high ponytail, not too low by the base of the neck but, and not high. And with tight ponytail. Was her hair gel jumping down? <laughs> All right, get in the ponytail. All right, I'll turn you sideways so that we can see. Now the trick I have set up, all right, for the trick I've learned for kids who have really long hair, because my hair is really long, is that you split the ponytail in half. And still gives them the flat bun that they always want, because no one wants like a bun that sticks out. And you wrap it or halfway around, so kind of like you're wrapping your ponytail. And then you're going to take a bobby pin and slide it down. And then you're going to take the other half. Now this is when they have really long hair. You're going to want to do this. Not short hair like Carly's, but we'll just show you. And you want to wrap it the opposite way. Oopsie, Carly's a little bit too short hair for this. And then you want to wrap the opposite way and then you'll put it all down. Now if you have short hair like Carly does, You can either braid it, you just separate it and braid it, and then you twist it up, or you can simply take their bun, and I'll take out the ponytail, the easy way to do their bun. This would be like you're doing a ponytail. And the last time you twist it, you don't pull the hair all the way through. You kind of leave it right there, and then you can pin it down from here and get it all smooth around the side. That's if you have short hair like Carly does, and that if you have long hair, you split the ponytail, wrap it around one way, wrap the other way, and of course, pinning it down, make sure it's nice and secure. So then you just want to take your bobby pins and pin down the hair, and you want to do more bobby pins than less because the hair does and will come out. When they're on stage, jump around. They do a lot of moving around, so you really want to make sure it's really secure. And please use a hair tie that's brown or black, or don't use bright pink hair ties. Try to use, you know, or you can use rubber bands, whatever you use for your, their hair, but make sure it's all tight and secure. So you can use lots of bobby pins to get it secure. And then if you have any frizzies, like this car does, you can come through and get them down. And 
take some hairspray. Hairspray, pin back any flyaways that you see that you can kind of like pin up and pin away. Again, you just want to make sure all the hair is secure. And that way they have their hair. So you're going to pull aside. Now they all have hair pieces, or I think yeah, they all have hair pieces that will be their barrettes that they'll clip into their room that matches their costume. So we'll, you know, clip them in wherever they go, wherever fits in their hair. So that's the easiest way is to part it, pull back in the ponytail, do a little poof. That can be a little bit challenging sometimes, so I definitely suggest practicing it, grabbing the front of their hair, twisting it, and poofing it up a little bit. That will give them a nice little, that gives you a nice little definition on stage, a little bit something extra for them. You probably would crisscross your bobby pins, and if you feel like it's a little bit loose, you can put another bobby pin in and right in between, and that will grab it. And then put in the ponytail, you can either braid it and twist it, split the ponytail for long hair one way or another, or tuck it halfway through. If your child has really short hair that cannot be pulled back in ponytail, then I think those girls have um, headbands mostly for them. Alrighty. Alright, Miss Carly, thank you very much.